All right, everyone, welcome back. It is time for more Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I played it for about three hours earlier today, give or take. I think it was more like, like two and a half hours. Um, and so far, so good. I am enjoying the game a lot. What I should do is probably show you guys the upgraded stats. Here's where I am. I'm level 17. Attack level 2. Speed level 2, which is great because you need that speed in this game for sure. My life has already uh, increased a lot. Item stock, I'm already up to 7. And throw distance at level 2. So I'm doing pretty good for myself. I think the reason is a couple things. Number one, um, the game clues you in, especially if you have a survivor with you. They tell you when there's stuff to do in the room. So I was going through certain rooms and the survivors were telling me, hey, uh, over there, look at that. Take a picture of it. So I wouldn't. I get a ton of the, the photo points. Oh, that's neat that they kind of warn you about that, right? Uh, also, I just feel like the game is overall easier because it's easier to control. So you don't kind of fumble through and, and you know, stagger around like you did uh, previously in the original game. So I, I think, like, I'm like level 17 seems pretty high for this part of the game. And I just unlocked the Lariat, which I said was, I think they said it was left. It's either left or right bumper and Y. So I got to figure that out because I definitely want to use the Lariat move. It's Zangief spitting clothesline from Street Fighter. I want to see how it works against the zombies. It'd be pretty neat. So there you go. Um, all righty. So let's get into it. Someone's, someone took me a dollar and says, Reforge Gaming on YouTube would like to have you on a weekly Friday gaming news show. Would you ever collab? I don't know because I don't know anything about that. Uh, I would have to look into it. I really have no idea. So... Uh, if you have info on them, or if they reached out to me, maybe, but they would have to reach out to me. Like, I'm not going to hear it from a third party. There's, there's business lines of contact. You can DM me on Twitter. You can send me an email, you know. I, I, I appreciate if you're a fan of theirs or whatever, and you're trying to reach out, but really, they should do it, not you, right? Just saying. I've never heard of them, so. All right, so the next case occurs at 8 a.m. Excuse me, I can't read. 6 a.m. I have two delicious pizzas, and I have two jugs of, uh, coffee creamer. So how do I do this move? I guess I can't do any moves. Yeah, I can't do them in this room. Okay. So we gotta go back to the rooftop, right? This is where I came in before, right? Now you can't anymore? Yeah. So we have to go back to the rooftop and then back to the mall. I'm gonna try to rescue these two uh, Japanese tourists that apparently are stuck in there. <clears throat> and uh, if I rescue them... Never thought I'd get... If I rescue them... Oh, actually, you know what I should do is fight that Adam guy first. So I guess he's the mini boss or the boss at the roller coaster. The problem is I don't have many weapons now. I have guns, so maybe I could just shoot the guy. I gotta figure out what I gotta do here. Oh, Jesus! That's... What the hell? That... That was a dirty trick. Ugh. You get 50 PP every guy you kill with the spinning clothesline. I wonder do I get the spinning pile driver? Where did my... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, where did it go? Wait, where is it? Dude, the sword just disappeared. Did you see that? Yeah. What was that? What just happened? Did I just use an item or something? I don't know what's going on. I feel like I just, I, I lost my katana. It fused through the ground, so I don't have it anymore, which really sucks. Now all I have are guns, so I gotta go find, uh, I gotta go find we a weapon or something. I saw somebody in the North Plaza. He was leaving the single market. He was in a real uh. panic, too. Something must be after the poor guy. Oh, come on. You know what I mean? The grab is really annoying. They grab you even when you're doing stuff. I'm spinning and shooting with the gun in my hand? What the hell? So you don't want to have a weapon in your hand when you do the lariat move. Because if you do, you end up tossing the weapon, and that's what happened. Well, now I understand what's going on. 
I didn't know that until right now. All right, so we have some options. Item spotted by a survivor is over here. He said the North Plaza, correct? He said if you go to the North Plaza, there's shadows. Yep, at the supermarket. I want to save the Japanese tourists. They're also in this area. So what we should just do is go outside. Yeah, and then run across and then see because there should be a lot of shit here, right? The atmosphere of the game reminds you of Yakuza 4 and 5. It does. I mean, it's it's kind of a more comedic. It, it, there's horror, but there's comedy too in this game. It's like dark horror, right? Or dark comedy, I should say. Dark comedy. Yeah, you can spin and shoot with a gun in your hand. I didn't even know that. Unless that's new. I don't know. No Keanu creams. I did not see that it says you can get Silent Hill 2 early if you buy the deluxe edition. I didn't see that at all. Um, Quite honestly, I don't, I don't really care. I'm going to play it on Tuesday. Oh, wait. We can't go through here? That's right. We can't go through here. It's blocked. There's no way to open it? I guess we have to go the other way. All right. Let's go the other way. Hopefully we have enough of bullets to kill the clown guy who apparently is who I'm fighting next. That's what people were telling me. That the next the next boss guy is Adam. And that I need to... I'm going to need to shoot him alive. The sniper rifle. So maybe I just snipe him. If I can get past him, I'm going to go back to the northern area. And I'm going to get more, uh, more stuff anyway. I'm going to get more, uh, more melee weapons and more guns. Respective vendor. Now, wait a minute. Now I have to take a picture of the Jill Sandwich. I know how to do it properly. There we go. I missed it earlier. Okay, cool. Jill Sandwich. Hey, we got a trash can on his crotch. Sparky did a two... A two uh, Pound Super Chat, first one of the night. Have you ever played the other games in the series? I've played every single Dead Rising game. Yeah, every, and, and so this one, I wasn't a YouTuber yet when it came out. So this one, I actually did not play when it was new, but I played the remaster eight years ago, and now I'm playing the deluxe remaster. Two, three, and four, I all played as new releases as they were respectively released. And you can find all of those playthroughs on this channel. Um... So check them out. If you search right now my playlist tab for those games, you will find them. I mean, of various, you know, qualities and capture types and everything over the years, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, check them out. Thanks for the super chat. Wait a minute. The prisoners are alive again? But I killed them. Do the prisoners infinitely come back? Because I already murdered them. But they're driving around again. Does anyone know? I guess so. They're driving, so I guess they never die. Every day they respawn. But yeah, but it's not even a new day. It's the same day as before. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. But all right, whatever. We're almost at the doors anyway. They're over there at least. I think the zombies are really dumb. They let me cut right through. Wait a minute, is this the parking garage? I don't want to go to the parking garage. That's different, right? That goes under. I don't want to go under. They come back every single time you continue the game. Oh, shit. Well, that's kind of frustrating and annoying. They're way out there. I guess they're chaotic. They just do whatever they want because they're not really, like, aggroing to me. They're just kind of driving around doing their own thing, right? Hopefully I can kill Adam. I have a lot of health, but I just don't have a lot of ammo. That's what that's the problem. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. It is Dooga Dooga, you're right. <laughs> Lots of Dooga Doogas. East. 
And can I say I can save, but I think that the boss fight is first. Oh, that's all right. The game auto saves, dude. See, I, I'm still in the mindset of the original game. No, you can. This game auto saves now. Even if I die, it doesn't even matter. I'll just be able to try over and over. Brandon did a super chat, two bucks, and he says, "What are your thoughts on the Christmas Dead Rising game?" Well, Brandon, uh, I thought that it was a neat adventure to mess around and kill some time and have casual fun, but that game was nowhere near as difficult or even similar to the previous, right? It was literally made to be like a silly game where you're, you're almost nearly invincible and you're just really just going crazy with over-the-top stuff. I'm not to say that the game has never been over-the-top. It always was, but traditionally, the game's tough. It's meant to be like a tough game until your second or third run. In four, you could probably beat it with your eyes closed, right? So there you go. Yeah, it, it, it was fun to be Christmas-themed and play around that time. But outside of that, it just wasn't a very challenging game. So it kind of takes away from the whole idea of the game being, you know, a challenging adventure. It really isn't. Anything in here? I haven't been in here yet. Shit, I missed. You want the freaking gumball machine. Perfect. Was it a bouncy house or something? I don't know what that is. Missed. Sucker. You missed, sucker. Now oh, there's no one here. So, wait a minute. Where's Adam then? He's supposed to be in here. Adam is supposed to be in here. Oh, this is it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Stay away from me. <laughs> wow, he looks different. Everyone used to laugh at me. <laughs> I was a walking punchline. <laughs> now you're gonna be a walking Swiss cheese when I take out my sniper rifle, dude. <laughs> <Not anymore. laughs> <laughs> when the zombies came, everyone died. <laughs> I agree. The auto saves and the updated character models are like the biggest improvement. I think. That's why I decided to give all the happy people a lift on this huh? fun ride. <laughs> I won't let you stop the ride, Gramps. If the line stops, then the zombies come back, and that won't be any fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> that is a creepy high-pitched voice for this guy. Oh, that's how you throw shit, right? Oh my god. I gotta find something to hit him with because the sniper rifle doesn't even work. I don't have any guns. Shit, I need weapons. I don't think the knife's gonna work either. What about the gumball machine? Oh, he followed me. You know, in these gumball machines. No lock on. Where'd he go? Oh shit. Oh, I'm knifing his ass up. It's working. Oh, 
fucking zombie attack me. Where'd he go? Well, that worked. <laughs> oh, no. Yikes. Ouch. Got his chainsaw. I leveled up. The ID card. What does that do? That means you can get, open a shortcut with the ID card, I think, right? Oh, shit! Thanks. I was in some real trouble there. Are there other survivors around? There sure are. Everyone's in the security room. It's safe there. Security room? I know a shortcut there. Alright, here we go. We gotta follow him to the shortcut. This way! Come on! Shit. I need to freaking take a picture of him when he says that. Perfect. Let's go. I'm here. I'm ready. What are you doing? Dude, you're not going now. There we go. And then after that, I gotta try to save uh the other the tourists. But I need to get the shortcut open first. Damn, I'm in the back of the head. I chick Greg. Who is gonna open a shortcut through the bathroom? Nice. So first That's off, let's can... let's save since we just did a bunch, right? Can you wear a Blanca mask? I don't know if that's in this one. I know that's in part two, but I don't know if there's Blanca masks in part one, actually. You're on your own. <laughs> so it is. It's a shortcut to Paradise Plaza and back. Where are we now? And then from here, you just head right to the elevator. That's very useful. So now let's go get the tourists. Oh, really? The Blanca Mask is part three, someone just said. Okay. Hard to remember. All right, so we got to go back upstairs. And there they are. They're in that Wonder Jewel store. Find the escalator up. Or really, a stairs up. Here's some stairs. Should be directly to my right. Well, Perfect. this is good enough. I don't know why he followed me. Why did Greg just follow me? I guess he's a survivor with me. Okay. Tourists? They look Japanese. A lipstick? Oh my god, a giant lipstick prop. 
Are they with me now? I guess they're with me now. They come with me. Now we gotta get them, uh, save them. Mm. 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 An apple on the ground. Alright, guys. You're all coming with me now? Are they? Where are they? Where'd they go? What the fuck? Where are they? They disappeared? So I guess we gotta follow them. Well, this thing's worthless. It doesn't do anything. Sorry, you. Get lipstick all over them. Look. Trying to give it to him. What happened? I don't want to eat the pizza. Oh, this is dumb. It's making me do something I don't want to do. Where did the other guy go? I think we lost him. I don't know where he went. I think he ran off without us because I don't see him anywhere. Right? I don't see him. Yeah, I don't know where he went. I'm lost. I don't even know where Shinji is. Where did he go? Look. Disappeared. Went over here. Oh, they went this way. So we're supposed to follow them? What the fuck? Hey, where are we going? What are we doing? Why did you... Why are they running around? Guys, do you know what we're supposed to do? Because the game doesn't seem to be doing anything. I can't talk to them. And the game won't let me do anything. It's being fucking stupid. So what do I do? They're going to take damage and shit. Unless I know what to do. They're not even following me. Right? Look. He's going in here. What is he doing in here? Why did he go in here? I think because it's glitched. I don't think he's supposed to be in here. I think the game's fucked up. There's a book in the bookstore that tells you how to speak Japanese. Well, that's great. Where the fuck's the bookstore? I'm not seeing it. Oh, oh. Oh. Frustration sets in. Oh, Machi I can't talk to them. Look, oh. I can't talk to either of them. Oh, Machi could Anna. What what is your to my Oh! I only got one, I didn't get the other. Okay. So what should we do? So we should go we should go bring them first, then we should come back. 
and try to do the Shadow of the North Plaza if we have time. I don't know if we're going to have time. And the problem is I'm so confused. Like, the shortcut is down here, right? Like, where was the shortcut? In the save room? We have to go downstairs into that save room. That will teleport us over here. That will get us here. It's so confusing, right? All right, come on. We gotta go downstairs. <laughs> I saw a cop with a terrifying look on his face. She seemed to be searching for a girl. A cop searching for a girl. Here they come. We're right, to go backwards. Right? Right? I get. Yeah, I think we gotta go to that save point room. Ladies' restroom in the save room. Okay. Coming up. Bring someone with me. Where are they? Dude, come on now. Why are you guys so goddamn slow? Oh. We're going to have to do the next story mission next. Come on, let's go. I'm trying to dick a fuck around. Shit to do. We got to survive. Come on, you fucker. What? How did he grab me right away? That is so stupid. I have no healing. I have no fucking healing. Oh, let me save. I got no healing. Good. In here, stupid. Follow me. All right. Where is the other guy? Fuck you, man! Come on. Where is he? We're gonna run out of time because the fucking game is being stupid. Follow me. Dingy <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, so I gotta go out there, hopefully find some food. How do you zoom in? I gotta hopefully find some food between here and the elevator. Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! You're kidding, I'm dead. It instantly killed me because I have no help. I didn't do anything wrong. The game, the, they made it so the zombies instantly grab you. Like, you actually have no way to dodge it. If they're in, just lunging towards you, they're just going to grab you. This is going to happen a million times until I find a piece of, of food. This is going to happen a million times because they made it, the way they made the game. There's no way to avoid them. Once they're in a, a a direction towards you, you're fucked. Hold on, let me check something. Oh, nice dummy account. A nice fucking dummy account from an asshole. At the same time when someone else is uh, is also trying to troll. So I'm just ignoring all of it, guys. I'm going to play the game. I'm not going to play the game of these idiots. Okay? Yeah. 
Come on! Come on! Follow me! Come on! Come on! Follow me! No food. Follow me! Come on! Okay, they're all Follow here. Me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow me. What the heck? I still got grabbed. This is fucking oh. bullshit. It's so stupid. There's no food anywhere, and the zombies instantly grab you in this game with no chance of shaking them off. Come on! Come on! Follow me! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Miss somehow. Follow me! He didn't even engage in an attack animation. He just was like this, and then instantly grabbed me, and I kids to kill me. I didn't have a chance to do anything. He didn't even move toward me. This is Come fucking on. stupid. Come on! Follow me! Come on! Where did the chainsaw go? Look, where's the chainsaw? The chainsaw disappeared. It seems like if you do the lariat with a weapon in your hand, the weapon phases out of the game. Because it's just gone, and it wasn't broken. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's really dumb. You just lose your fucking item? <laughs> I don't know, I do. I feel like the zombies grab you easier in this, but I feel like other things are, are improved. Like, I feel like the bosses are actually much easier in this. But the zombies are, like, tougher. So maybe it's an odd trade-off or something. Well, we didn't get to do the other thing yet. We'll have to do it after this. Nice, leveled up. Got all my health back too, and attack up too. Judo throw acquired. The powerful skill calls upon the art of judo and takes out zombies with style. When grabbed by a zombie, press Y repeatedly to toss them over your shoulder. Perfect. Jade, how are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Mm. I didn't need that. Off creamers. I don't think I need this anymore. Zombies. My god. Has it come to this? What sucks is I just don't have enough time. It's already gonna be five. I don't have enough time to do anything else. Because I have to be here for the story at six. So I actually can't leave. I just have to wait for the story to advance. And then I'm gonna have to try to rush across the mall to do that objective in the northern quadrant. I may make it, I may not. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. 
Perfect. Oh man, okay. I don't know where uh I think there's another one that I saved that's not there. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're all in those three rooms and that's it. That is it. No one else in here yet. Okay. Guess so, because we got all them. Alright. He's on the roof. Who is? Oh, he's with, uh, what's his name? He's over here. Yeah, we didn't get him yet. Greg. Good. There you go. Yeah, we didn't have a picture of Greg yet. Now we got him. Okay. So what do we do? We just chill? Have I ever been to a mall like this? I mean, I've been to many malls in my life. I'm sure I've been to ones that are similar to this. A big mall? I've been to some big... So I guess we just wait. I guess we just wait. We gotta be in here at six, right? We wait. Wait a few minutes. I mean, we could pass time, but then I don't know what happens if you pass time out here on the bench or out like this. How would this even work? Oh, I didn't save, did I? I better freaking save. That would have been bad. How do I do this? How do I advance? Fast advance. Okay. Great. I can't close the door without closing myself out of the door. Yeah, out of the room. Gotta wait here like this. Ugh. Some people in the chat are saying, malls don't look like this anymore. Any malls that used to be like this just don't have a lot of traffic anymore. I mean, in some places you're correct, but for example, where I live, our local mall is still very busy. The problem mm. is that there's so much now crime and shit. So now you go to the mall, it's not... Oh, there's no one there now. It's, oh, there's a bunch of kids. You're causing problems. People are yeah, shoplifting and shit. That. It's really bad. What's going on, anyway? Before this whole thing started, someone called the professor and told him to come to this mall. Jack the line, did you? So is this the caller, this guy here? They've got something to do with the zombies, don't they? They are the reason we came here. And if he gets away with Dr. Barnaby, none of our questions will be answered. Okay. Second case has begun, but we have time to do the other thing now. I want to hurry and do the other quest. I really have to hurry. Is though that's not any faster like this is where you rescue the professor but i don't even want to do that yet i want to go up here and i want to use the shortcut so i could go up here and run up here and hopefully make it to this event yeah i want to see if i can save this guy we don't have a lot of time left for it so we got to try to hurry to do this right okay of course i went the wrong way right out of the door
Guys, if you're here chilling and enjoying, please support the stream in some way. The easiest way to do that is liking the stream, which is completely free and easy to do. So please give me a like on the stream. I want to get it to at least 100 likes tonight. Uh, by the end of the stream would be great. Outside of that, contributions greatly appreciated right now. We're 45 minutes into the stream and I've raised six bucks. So it sure would be great if we get some contributions. Please consider it. Thank you if you do it. I will shout you out. Give you some credit. The whole point is I'm trying to hit the goal tonight. My, my asshole detractor trolls are fucking talking about this constantly. And not that it's a big deal, okay? I'm not expecting to hit the goal all the time. But, yeah. I, uh, seriously, uh, would appreciate any support tonight you guys can lend. Thank you. Oh, come, judo throw. Yeah, there you go. That's why it's good you throw them to the other guys. You get tons of points. There we go. I'm gonna see. I don't know if the the weapon store is over here or not. Wait, where'd it go? Where'd the mission go? It's still there. For some reason, it's not showing on there though. Missed completely. saving because they're in the center over here wow it's pitch black i can't see anything i legit cannot see anything right now we went a little crazy with the brightness yeah now i can at least see a little bit It's gonna be this building to my or this uh room to my right. Here? Yes. Oh, no, please leave me alone. Would you relax? Calm down. Take a good look at here? me, man. Do I look like a zombie to you? Are you one of the good guys? Mm. I'll turbo through it, because you wanna you wanna save your time in this game. I do not want to What's baguette. wrong with your leg? I went to go get some food from the market, but this crazy said I was shop. I can't just what let you stay here. Seriously? <sighs> All right, he's crying like a baby. I guess we gotta go back the way we came, and we can get him back here, and then we just do the next story because there's no other survivors around, right? So that's what you do. We're gonna go here, the save point again, and uh, we're gonna fast travel back quick. We're gonna trade him in, and then we're gonna come back again. Circling back, and then we're going to rescue the professor. Okay. It seems like when you have someone with you now, the zombies can't really grab you anymore. Did you notice that? This happened when I was doing the piggyback ride earlier for Leia. All the zombies trying to grab you just missed. And this is what it is. Like, they made it way easier when you have these escorts. These escort missions. Just to avoid all the zombies. I realized it would be... Oh, you're kidding me! Went the wrong fucking way? How is that even possible? Yeah, they don't even... Look, they don't even grab you. Are you kidding? They don't even grab you anymore. Wow, well, that's a big change. They can't even grab you. They just miss. Okay, they finally got me there. But it's rare if they do. The lighting is so dark. You can't see a goddamn thing. Okay. Go. I did lower the brightness because the game was too bright at first. Like, the gamma was way bright. 
So we lowered it, but now it seems like the game is just too dark. Here, now it's a little better. Gandhi, the king of feet, just did a two dollar super chat and asked, "Did I used to serve? Did I used to serve health food at my local mall? Uh, I used to to live or live. Oh my god, I used to work uh, at a mall. My first job I got when I was fifteen, and it was." A place called Everything Yogurt and Salad Cafe, where we sold frozen yogurt, smoothies, frosties, and a ton of different kinds of salads. And then later on, panini sandwiches and other things as the product line expanded, because just the salads weren't cutting it anymore with an uh, you know, American customer base. People wanted other things rather than just health food over time. So we ended up changing up the menu a bit. But... I worked there for a long time, since I was 15 till I went to college. I was like 18, and then when I was in college, I uh, I was working at Circuit City for a while, and I kind of bounced back and forth between there and Circuit City hey, for a bit. Frank, I spotted you. There's something here. Maybe we should take a picture of it. Now he tells me about someone in Wonderland Plaza after I just left, right? I what an know. asshole. Must be a couple. Looks like something's wrong, though. Well, we gotta do that next. This sucks, because I would have done it first. I totally would have done it without running over here first, but he didn't call me until now. Now we gotta get David there, and we gotta go all the fucking way back I to do this. I had some white juice, and it made my legs... White juice, he's talking about the things you can blend. You can blend certain juices. He's talking about the, like the speed up. Speed up juice, it makes you run like double speed across the whole wall. Just skip them all. All right, David, you idiot. This place up, is Mall? kind of out of the way, isn't it? Complain. All right, so now we got to go back to Wonderland Plaza and try to find the lovers and save them. And then we got to rescue the professor at the entrance plaza. <laughs> Let's see. So now, they said Wonderland Plaza. We don't need to use the shortcut, do we? We could just walk all the way there. I mean, we could, but I think actually the shortcut's faster. I actually think the shortcut would legit be faster. Yeah, probably. And then once they're rescued, then we go straight there. Excuse me. Yeah, I also don't remember how long in general this game is. It depends on how much you do. Like, you could turbo through the story, right? And then it doesn't... It's short. Or if you try to save all the survivors and fight all the psychopaths and do all that stuff, then it's much longer. I think that's that's the determining factor is how much do you actually want to do uh, in the game. Another one. Right there. No? Perfect. Oh, it was food tonight. It was alright, Jay. It was some pasta with, with a chicken meatballs. Nothing crazy special, but, uh, you know, it's still good. I always like pasta. I'm Italian. I'm always gonna like pasta. <laughs> So let's save again. 
You got a lot of save slots, dang. You got a lot of save slots. I didn't have to save over a single one yet. We're going this way. Now, where did they say they were in Wonderland Plaza? Second floor. We have to go to the second floor in Wonderland Plaza. Okay. Stairs, right? Oh, did they? You know, Casino played the cog clips. That's cool. Um, I will I will see what happens, but I doubt they're going to be as late tonight as they were yesterday. Last night, they were on super duper late, which is why I was able to make it because it was after my late stream. But uh, it depends tonight. I get the feeling they're not going to want to go super late tonight after last night's insane marathon. I was pressing the button. I don't even know what happened there. It didn't work. Weird. Okay. So they're all the way down the hallway here. I could get close here and stuff, but I'd rather just save the survivors at this point. Be further down here. Hold on. Sports Town. Can I get some new clothes? No. Did they give me a hanger? Wait a minute. Did they just take my weapon? You're kidding me. What did I have in my hand? I don't want a hanger. What did I have in my hand that they just took from me? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, return clothes? I already have the clothes. Shit. A bowling ball. A skateboard. Go. Ride this thing? Here you go. Cowbunga! Baseball hmm. hat. Good night, Gandy. I think I've already been in here, so I got the shoes and everything. I've had enough of this. We need some help over here. All right, Someone's hold on. Hurt. It's Ross. Please, Ooh. you gotta help him. He doesn't look so good. <laughs> no. He got shot. He was trying to protect me. Huh. Who shot him? I did what I could for him. I really tried, but I've never dressed a wound before. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up over it. Just let me have a word with him. <laughs> okay. Who? Who are Hatchet you? Man is a boss, I think. A psychopath. My name's Frank. I'm a journalist. Just don't take my picture, okay? I don't want anyone to see me like this. Tell it to me straight. How long do you think you can hold out? Uh, hmm. I can't feel anything below the waist, man. Shot in the spine. I don't understand how I can still be alive. Just take care of Tonya for me, will ya? Well, is Ross alright or what? Calm down and listen to me, okay? First of all, I'm not a doctor. There's not much I can do for his wounds. Secondly... <laughs> It doesn't take a doctor to see just how badly he's hurt. We might have to leave him. No, don't say that. Hmm. Don't. Ross. Ross is still alive, damn it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Looks like you got Tonya all worked up. She won't listen to reason when she's like that. You'll have to huh. drag her out of here. I want her to get out of this alive. I understand, but what will you do? Let me borrow a gun. I won't. I don't have one. This myself. You can walk, right, kiddo? Come on, let's go to the security room. No way! I'm staying with Ross. Huh. If I'm gonna die, I want it to be with him. Hey, listen to me. 
You've got to come with me. I'll help your boyfriend get going. Really? I don't have a gun. I'm not going to give him the freaking sniper rifle. I have to find a gun and give it to him. A handgun somewhere outside. That sucks. He's going to commit suicide. So, like I said, dark. A dark humor game. A lot of dark parts. I have to find a gun. Is there like a cop around? No, now, now that I need them, there's no cop zombies here. See this? Zero cop zombies. Zero! They did this on purpose. Now that you need a gun, there's literally zero guns anywhere in any reach. Wow. Look, there's no cops. That guy's got a hand a hand in his hand. That guy's got a knife. What am I supposed to do? I can't do this without a gun, and there's no guns in the area. I guess I'll try to talk to him again, because there's no... I think they purposefully didn't put any guns in the area to make this tough. You had to have a gun on you to do it. There's no guns anywhere here. Let me help you up, pal. I don't like the idea of leaving people behind. We can patch you up in the security room. Just don't give up on me part way there, okay? Let's do it. I appreciate that. So we're carrying him. Okay. We gotta save him first, then do the professor, and then do the hatchet man mission. Yep. Okay. Follow me! Come on! Guys, please don't pay any attention to it. I don't know why you guys address Follow nonsense me. and trolling. You're, all you're doing is Come giving on. attention to the people who want it, so you're wasting everyone's time by doing it. Just don't bring it up. Right? We all know what's going on. We know Come it's on. nonsense. Just be quiet about it. There's somebody inside the home and garden shop in Alfresco Plaza. Come on! I didn't get a good look at him, but I'm pretty sure it was a man. Follow me! He looked really scared. Must Come be on! some heavy stuff right now. Come on! Now there's a cop. Come on! Follow me! That cop was not there before. Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! Jade Cat and Jasper are good, and he says he froze up when seeing someone from Yu-Gi-Oh, the voice actor. It's all Come it's on. all good, man. I'm sure it happens to a lot of people, especially if it's something you really like and you've been watching Yu-Gi-Oh forever and to finally meet you know the voice performer. Follow me! Now I remember having to mash this a million times when Follow I played this me. at first. Follow me! Garbage it's cans, coming. cardboard boxes, I don't care. I'm gonna open up anything I can Follow find for me. food. Ricardo just did a super Follow chat me. says I appreciate your being your late night streams. Thank you very much, Ricardo. Glad that you're enjoying. Here, I might as well save. Just because I don't want to screw this up. Alright. Alright, I'm fresh off of shit. Jump on my back. I'm sure the smell's great. Let's get Ricardo uh added to the total here. It was a two dollar super chat. Thank you for that. And then Castro Jenkins, 40 months as a member. My favorite Dead Rising game is the third one. I did like the third one. A lot of people said they didn't like it because it was much, it was significantly easier than one and two. Four, I feel, is way too easy. Four, I feel like they kind of ruined it with how piss easy they made it, and it, it just becomes kind of a joke. But I did, I did enjoy three. Remember, three was the first one on Xbox One, but actually had gone to a new console at that point, which was kind of a big leap for the series. Follow me! Come on! Follow me! Come on! Follow me! Follow me! It's not I have to keep doing this or else they won't follow. Follow me! Brian, I don't know. He says it's the same as the original. It seems like the plot's exactly the same. Come on! You know, the graphics are better. The controls are better. Come on! 
That's what I'd say. The graphics Follow are better me. and the controls are better. And the AI is better. Come on. And there's autosave. It's still the same game, though. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Come on. I need you to be here so I can run in and hit the button real fast. Come on! There we go. Work. Follow me! Alright, so we save them and then we're gonna go rescue the professor next, and then we can do the other missions after. Who's Pamela Tompkins? I don't even know who the fuck that is. We never even met her. All we have to do is wait here, right? Level up again. Lock up. Alright, Inquisitor Soul, let's go fuck yourself and never come back to my streams because you were a troll anyway. I'm not stupid. We already knew that you were a sock account all day. I was just trying to be nice, but if you're going to be a fucking piece of shit, then you can fuck off and eat my ass. Alright. Let's now do the story. So, the main story is to the left, and this is now open. This gate should now be open and allow us to walk right there. So, this is what we're going to do next. Rescue the professor. Once that's done, we then should have time to do this. The hatchet man and the coward. Cowardly survivor. Where is hatchet man? Oh, look where he is. The saloon. That's going to be tough. This is easy. You just run and grab him. But this, we're going to have to fast travel, go through this whole area, get back to that saloon, which is actually the supermarket, right? Oh, that's going to be a pain in the... I don't know if we're going to be able to do both. Like, I want to. I want to do both. Hatchet Man, I believe, is a psychopath fight. And I believe that this right here... It, well, this right here is a survivor, a random survivor, correct? But, yeah, I just, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna be able to do it all. We already, someone already died, and I guess she was a random you were supposed to just encounter in the mall. Because I didn't even know where she was. They didn't give me a mission for her. But, it is possible if you know exactly how to play the game, how to save everyone. But you need, it needs to be like a new game plus run. Because you need to have the max speed and, and you know, know how to, how to make your way through the mall fast. Which, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of flubbing it here. And uh, I'm trying to do my best. But. I certainly could be doing better. So. Okay. Let's put the part here. When I come back, there'll be more Dead Rising Remaster. Well, excuse me. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. I hope that you're enjoying. I am. I'm having a good time. And we'll continue on with more. Thanks for watching. Please remember. Please remember. To. Uh, leave. Uh, like the videos. Leave a comment on the videos. Engagement is key in the first few parts of a new playthrough, so I hope we will do that. All right, thank you guys. See you in the next part.